I'm Scott Westerman from the Michigan State University Alumni Association with the second in our series of webinars on writing for social media. This time out, we'll be talking about writing for Twitter. Twitter has become the Internet's newswire. History is often reported first on Twitter, and it has become the medium for customer engagement and even supplanting the text message as a means of direct communication. For some, it's a platform to point our friends to more detailed information on other websites, For others, it's simply a way to shout out to people we care about. So understanding how to speak Twitter's language can help you get your message across effectively. Writing for social media resurrects the age-old concept of the inverted pyramid. All newspaper journalists are taught to put the most important information at the top of the pyramid in the first sentence, followed by a summary of the story, followed by additional background based on the space limitations of the medium. Twitter is at the top of the inverted pyramid metaphor as it pertains to social media. With just 140 characters to get your message across, you have to be judicious with every one of them. In fact, you actually have fewer than 140 characters because a key objective of every tweet is to get it retweeted. And you want your Twitter handle to fit within the retweet. In the case of my Twitter handle, at MSU Scott W., I have only 127 characters for my message because 13 are taken up for the letters RT, a space, and my Twitter handle. So brevity rules in the Twitter sphere. If there are two words that do a good job conveying your message, use the shorter one. Be liberal in your use of contractions. Your high school English teacher might not like them, but Twitter loves them. Can't, won't, don't, we're, your, and so forth should be near the top of your toolbox. Where one symbol conveys a word, use it. The ampersand, the letters UR for the words you are, and the letter W for the word with are universally recognized across all short code media. Text messengers know what IMHO and LMAO mean. Tweeters will too. Another powerful character in the Twitter lexicon is the pound sign. This symbol precedes what are called hashtags. Words or word combinations that Twitter's spiders look for to track trending topics. A pound sign in front of MSU, pound sign in front of U2, and Big Ten are examples. If you're talking about a trending topic, using a hashtag can get your message seen by a significantly greater audience. Referencing other Twitter handles serves much the same purpose. And it has an additional plus. When you include at crazy MSU lady in a tweet about Mary Lou Moore, The tweet will show up in her mentions tweet stream, too. Here's an example of a tweet that incorporates many of the Twitter tools. Shouts to Crazy MSU Lady and Austin Spartans for a great MSU scholarship event last night. MSUAA is proud of you. MSU Admissions. This tweet will show up on three timelines. Crazy MSU Ladies, the Austin Spartans, and MSUAA. It will also show up in a hashtag search for MSU Admissions. And it's short enough to be retweeted without going over 140 characters. In addition to generating amplification through retweets, another goal of a Twitter post is to get the reader to want to read more about it. So include a hyperlink to additional content. Herein lies another challenge. Most web addresses are by necessity very long, often more than 140 characters. That's where link shorteners come in. Link shorteners are precisely that. Websites where you can plug a long web address into a box, press submit, and generate a much shorter link designed to fit a limited character space. Two examples of link shorteners are the websites bit.ly and goo.gl. These tools have an added value, too. They make it possible for you to track how many people clicked on your truncated link. Bitly and Hitly are included in the social media publishing tool Hootsuite. We'll talk more about tools like Hootsuite in a later webinar, but for now, Hootsuite lets you track how many people are clicking your truncated link and when they do it. Google offers a similar functionality. Later on, we'll talk about how to determine when the best time is to send out your tweets, along with how to identify tweet topics that will get attention. But just ahead, we'll break down the essentials of how to write for the most popular social network in the world, Facebook. I'm Scott Westerman for the MSU Alumni Association your personal network for life.